and some of these I wallowed out bigger here. Those the bolts are going to be going through, screwing into the transmission. This hole, that hole, and that hole, and this here I could take off. That actually, I believe that's like a steering stabilizer shock piece. TV. I'm your host Gary and on today's episode we're going to be working on the back plate of the D2900 uh, and possibly getting the motor into the Bronco and start doing a little fabbing, fabricating here and there. Uh, yeah. Fun stuff. <clears throat> so, um, here starting out. I um, also want to go ahead and let y'all know too that I um, also started another channel, uh, it's Gary's TV, like Gary's TV. I'll leave a link down for the channel. So if you want, go over to it, subscribe, and uh, thank. You. I might have a video on it before this one comes out. I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna try to get some videos out for you, or for y'all. Uh, so stay tuned on it. I think they're well. I did got a video kind of lined up right before this one. I did that. I want to try to load up, and it's gonna be pretty much a introduction to the channel. So. Y'all will feel free to go over to it, subscribe, hit the bell button, like the upcoming videos. Yeah, I gotta finish jacking that up, get the stand out from under, and on the motor. I get the jack out from it and start taking that plate off so let's go get to it. Main need to replace it anyway, so why not get 
Alright, well, I went through decided that the transmission is going to be button up against. I went ahead and wire brushed off most of it here and painted it. And all this, I'm going to pretty much like cut it off probably so that way I won't have to have that extra sticking out in, it, in the way. And I probably need that area anyway, so I'll just cut it off. But uh, I'm going to let this dry, then I'm going to make my markings, and we'll start drilling some holes and I guess start tapping them. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, well, I went there, I got my stencil, the shim plate that goes in between, but the old 300 cubic inch motor, the old Ford motor, and the transmission. So now I'm gonna go through. I got it lined up pretty much about as close as I can get with it, with this hole here. Although, look like I might need to come over this way. Look. I just kind of eyeballing it here. I'm not really doing the proper make measuring I should, but I'm not. And I want to poke, draw, mark right dead center of each hole. flywheel to the Alice motor anyway so might as well right I need to buy me a drill bit
replace the main seal here. Now it does come with this uh, wear sleeve that goes on the inside. You want to make sure you put that on your crank uh, flange. And uh, that way the seal will wear on it. And then I also too got the uh, two flat sided o rings. I got them, put some silicone inside the grooves, and then I kind of put them in and spin them so that way they ain't like a big gush coming out. And the purpose of the silicone on these is to hold them in place as you're putting it up because they're going to fall out, and you don't want to pinch them and lay them over and they're done for it. So I got that part done. I think I might go ahead and stick this back up on there for now and we'll uh, we'll just go ahead and oh there's a part number for this too. It's like a four uh, four zero two zero zero one four that's either one or imperfection there but there's the part number all right and of course here's the other side so it's ready all right well I went through and tapped out some of them holes I drilled and uh, that some of these I wallowed out bigger here those the bolts are going to be going through screwing into the transmission I still got a few more to go but yeah she's coming along so uh, oh by the way I mentioned about this uh, speedy sleeve that actually will go on the flywheel itself. And uh, can't really see it because it's dark, but there is like a speedy sleeve here on the thing. And which I do have a first light. Kind of somewhat see it. That dark part. That's the old speedy sleeve you gotta take off and put on that one uh, yeah after that then <clears throat> well, <clears throat> well basically be getting the whole motor mounts off seem like there's something else I got a few more to tap here and oh I got to cut out the spot on the bell housing of the transmission for the starter so I can get it on the starter I'm pretty sure I'll be using this hole, that hole, that hole no. the starter I'll be using this hole, that hole, and that hole I thought there's only two holes that they use. I could be wrong, but we'll be uh, a hole cut up for the starter. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do it down here, but the only problem is the starter holes like right here where the block is. It's on the transmission itself, so I'm gonna have to do it up here and cut it out on the bell housing. So, so it won't be part of the block missing. Uh, get the whole paint on. That should should be ready to set in there. I do got. It. I think I got it in the barn. Uh, a two by three. Rectangle bar that will probably be for <clears throat> up here. 
under the timing cover. It will probably be what will be fastening to that bar. Okay, I got the gearbox there in the way. <clears throat> For me to go back further. And this here I could take off. That actually I believe that's like a steering stabilizer shock piece. Somebody took off. I could put one on. Well, <clears throat> y'all can see I got a mess here. Uh I did kind of clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna clean it up more so it ain't gonna be like this when I put it together. But there's a clutch disc. I gotta get a pilot bearing and also a bushing to go inside to fit over. I fit inside the pilot bearing and over the input shaft. Uh, but yeah, it's. Solidly getting there. I got the hose drilled out on the plate. So that part is pretty much done. I gotta get my oil pan. I gotta clean it up. I finished cleaning it up and get it mounted up underneath. And also get this flywheel installed. I then go ahead and get the clutch and press pressure plate once I get the bear bearing put it. Uh, I might go ahead and get a new throw out bearing while I'm in there. Uh, that's the pressure plate to the tractor motor part of the flywheel. The only difference is is the clutch here. That's the only part here that's different. I still gotta get some more I get a couple lines and Got to finish up the rest of the motor, and then get the jerker pump, all that stuff taken care of. I kind of want to get it together as much as possible, get it in the Bronco, and then just nose the Bronco in here. I'm gonna take the hood off, nose it in, and I just put tarp over the opening, and we'll. Uh, just work on it with it being in the truck and I could work on getting it mounted which that ain't really going to take too much because I already got the plate part the front part I'm just going to get I got some square tubing I'm going to cut off a piece of it and then uh, weld some caps on the end with some bolt holes drill some holes in the frame mount it on and it'll be a whole new structure and then I gotta get motor mount bushings put in between the motor part to be under the timing cover and under the or between it and that bar. Uh, 